what uh, constitutional amendments do you expect uh, your caucuses to consider and what, what are most likely to be put on the ballot next year, if any? I'll you go first on that. A bill that I'm actually an author of that uh, we're going to hear in the state and local government committee, I believe tentatively March 3rd, it requires a supermajority to put something on the ballot. And uh, it's drafted as statutory, but my intent is to amend it to be a constitutional amendment. Uh, I believe we're going to have some bipartisan support for that in the Senate. I know there uh, is, a, is a very similar bill to mine authored by one of the Republican freshman members. Uh, so we will move it to the Rules Committee and then uh, at some point have a conversation with the House whether it's something they're uh, interested in putting uh, on the ballot or not. I don't have an interest in just lobbing stuff over and, and having the House try to figure out what they're going to do with it. But. And Senator Republicans, Hanna, I, Senator Han, I think I saw you nodding your head in agreement a couple of times with Senator. Barton. Well, I think the point he was making that there are Republicans I know in our caucus who have supported the idea of a higher threshold to put uh, things on the ballot, and so I think there would be some uh, interest in that. I don't know if there's enough, uh, and I don't know what the votes are, and I don't know what the votes are on the Democrat side, but. Uh, I, I, so I, I'm not going to predict whether there will be any constitutional amendments, but I think that there are Republicans who've looked at that and who generally support the idea of having a higher threshold. 